The 5-5 five and five Mets face the biggest challenge of their early season, and it's a home series against the San Diego Padres. Now, San Diego is going to bring their bats, so we're bringing back SNY senior editorial producer Danny Abriano for this edition of Mets Land heading into this must-win series. Danny, thanks for joining us. Let's talk about the pitching to start this thing off. Uh, ace Max Scherzer is expected to start tonight versus you, Darvish. He's looked eh, kind of average in his first two games back, so how important is it for Max to get back to his best? I think it's a big start for him, and, and big is kind of in quotations for me. I mean, he's had a rough first few starts. You look at the overall numbers, but really breaking it down, he's had one bad inning in each start, and it's been the sixth inning. So for Scherzer, um, I think it's more about making sure he can make it long into games without being impacted. Maybe it's the new pitch clock that's kind of hurting his stamina and some other pitchers as they get adjusted to the new rules. But I'm really not that concerned about Scherzer. If he has another clunker, um, I think some people will start to go nuts. Um, but I think he's going to figure out how to do this and, and how to how to get acclimated to this new rule and push past where he's been his first two starts. Yeah, Juan Soto and uh, Soto and Xander Bogarts have been hot for San Diego, so that's going to be an interesting matchup there. Let's talk about someone who's been all over Mets Twitter, Francisco Alvarez. I mean, the kid's shown flashes of greatness, but he's still he's not there yet. Buck has made some interesting comments about his playing time. So, how much of a factor do you think Alvarez will be this series and going forward? I hope he's a big factor this series. I mean, what, what Showalter said. Um, the backup quarterback comments about how Alvarez can kind of sit on the bench and learn doesn't really compute as far as the analogy, um, to me at least. Um, if he's here, he's got to play. And, and here's the thing. I understand that Tomas Nito is a valuable defensive catcher. He is. I understand that he's got a history catching this staff. He does. But if Alvarez is here, he's got to play. That means starting two of the three games in this series because the Padres have two lefties going. So for me, he has to start on Tuesday. He has to start on Wednesday. You can DH him one of those games, catch him in the other. But if he's here, he needs burn. All right, let's get into the series now. The Padres have been averaging about five runs a game. And, I mean, let's be honest, they, they're looking good at the early start of this season. So what do the Mets have to do to win this series and get trending in the right direction? I think it all starts with Scherzer, uh, like we spoke about at the top. But, um, you know, this is their biggest test so far this season. The Marlins, uh, we know they're not a potent offense. The Brewers, solid offense. The Mets got obviously steamrolled in Milwaukee. So this is their biggest test yet. It'll be a big test for Scherzer. It'll be a big test later in the series with David Peterson, who struggled his last time out. And for Tyler McGill, who was pretty solid his last time out. Well, it all goes down tonight at City Field, 7-10 p.m. Uh, Danny, thanks for joining us. Thank you.